Brennan. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Year 3 Science. Science. Welcome to the lesson Soil. This lesson has been designed for a 30 minutes lesson period. This lesson comprises of five segments. Looking around us. Our science lab. Mr. SPI will tell you about song and what have we learned today? This video is designed with fun with science in mind. You will have a fun time watching the segment and enhancing your knowledge on the concepts you have learned in school. In segment looking around us, we will learn what is soil made up of and different types of soil. In segment R Science Lab, we will learn that soil is made up of different layers. In segment Mr. SPI will tell you about, we will learn that soil is important to help plants to grow. Soil is a home to some animals and insects. Types of Soil in segment songs, we will have a fun time singing a song about soil. In segment What Have We Learned Today, we will see the important points from these lessons. Hello everybody! My name is Mr. SPI. S for science, P for private, and I for investigator. Today, I am your host. Whoa! Welcome to the Science Zone. From here, I will take you to explore the world of science. Today, our mission is to learn about soil. Earth, isn't it great that we have such a beautiful place to live in? Full of flowers and plants and trees?
Most plants grow in soil. So, what is soil made up of? Soil is made up of living things and non-living things. Among the living things found in soil are earthworms and ants. The non-living things found in soil are wood, leaves, stones, sand, silt, and clay. And there are also different types of soil. Sandy soil. Sandy soil is usually yellowish in color. It is made up of very small bits of rocks. Clay soil. Clay is sticky soil. It has different colors. It can be red, brown or gray. Garden soil. Garden soil is black or brown. It is very good for growing plants. Let's join Ibrahim at his science lab to know more about soil. Most plants grow in soil. Soil is made up of living things and non-living things. Among the living things found in soil are earthworms and ants. The non-living things found in soil are wood, leaves, stones, sand, silt and clay. And there are also different types of soil. Sandy soil is usually yellowish in color. It is made up of very small bits of rocks. Clay is sticky soil. It has different colors. It can be red, brown or gray. Garden soil is black or brown. It is very good for growing plants. Huh! Hello friends! Today, we are going to learn more about soil. Soil is made up of different layers. Let's do an experiment to see these different layers. Here are some of the things that we need for this experiment. Plastic bottle. A funnel. A spoon Some water And of course Garden soil First Put some of the soil into the plastic bottle Then, pour water into it. After that, shake the bottle well. Finally, let the mixture stand for a day. Ha! 
24 hours have passed. Let's see what has happened. These are the layers that have formed in our mixture of soil and water. They are beds of dead plants and animals floating in the water. We call this humus. Clay, silt, and sand are in the middle layers. Small stones are found at the bottom layer because they are the heaviest part of the soil. Mm, do you think that all types of soil will give us these layers? Ask your teacher or you can carry out your own experiment to find out. Okay, that's it from me. And here's Mr. SPI more to tell you about soil and the flow of water. See you! Soil? Hmm, I know where we should start. Right here in the earth. Come on, follow me. Soil is very important because it helps plants to grow. It is also the home of some small animals and insects such as ants, earthworms, millipedes, centipedes and many others. Soil also contains humus, clay, sand, silt and stone of different sizes. There are three types of soil, sandy soil, garden soil and clay soil. Uh oh Look at that! Can you see water flows through it? Look carefully! Water moves fastest through sandy soil and slowest through clay soil. We can also see why garden soil is good for planting. That's because it is able to keep the right amount of water for plants to use. Besides that, garden soil also has more humus and this is very good for plants. It helps them grow strong and healthy. Alright boys and girls, what have you learnt from our journey into the earth? We learnt about soil. Very good!
In this lesson, you have learned about soil. We learned that soil is made up of a few layers. We also learned that soil contains living things and non-living things. Some of the living things are earthworms and ants. The layers are pieces of dead plants and dead animals, clay, silt, sand, and small stones. These are the non-living things. We have seen different types of soil in different places. Garden soil can be found in gardens, forest, and fields. This soil is soft. It is dark brown or black. Clay soil can be found near hillsides and riversides. This soil is sticky when it is wet. It becomes hard when it is dry. We can find clay soil in different colors. It may be red, brown, or gray. Sandy soil can be found on the beach. This soil is soft and rough. It is light yellow. In the segment R Science Lab, Ibrahim has shown you that soil is made up of different layers using the garden soil. To carry out the experiment, you need a plastic bottle, a funnel, a spoon, some water, and garden soil. Step 1. Put some of the soil into the plastic bottle. Step 2. Pour water into it. Then close the plastic bottle with its cover. Step 3. Shake the bottle so that the soil and the water are mixed well. Step 4. Let the mixture stand for a day. Then you will get a few layers in the soil. There are pieces of dead plants and dead animals floating in the water. We call this humus. This is a clay, silt and sand in the middle layer. Small stones are found at the bottom layer. We have learned how well water moves through sandy soil, garden soil and clay soil. Different types of soil let different speed of water move through them. This is what we measure. Clay soil does not let water move through it easily. Sandy soil lets water move through it very well. Garden soil lets the water move through it quite well. We know that different plants grow well in different types of soil. Coconut trees grow on beaches. This is because coconut trees grow well in sandy soil. Mangrove trees grow in mangrove swamps. This is because mangrove trees grow well in clay soil. Banana plants grow in the garden. This is because banana plants grow well in garden soil. Soil is very useful to us. We need soil to grow plants and vegetables. Soil is home to some animals. We must take care of soil around us. That's all for today. I hope you will remember what you learned from Ibrahim and me at the Science Zone. Goodbye.